You may have noticed a new command line environment in Windows since Windows 7, and that's called PowerShell. PowerShell is a much more powerful command line shell and scripting language than the command prompt is, giving Windows systems administrators a useful command line environment. It's more complicated than the traditional command prompt, but it's also more powerful. The command prompt was always dramatically inferior to shells available for Linux and other Unix-like uh, systems, but PowerShell really raises the bar and it competes favorably with shells that are available uh, with other platforms. So on this <clears throat> opening slide here, we can see the difference between uh, the two command environments that are now available in Windows 8. We see the command line on the left or command prompt and uh, most of you have worked in the command prompt. PowerShell on the right hand side looks sort of the same at first glance. The, uh, uh, the prompt is a little different. You'll notice you've got uh, commands called set location. So we'll take uh, a little more detailed look at this. So as we mentioned, the command line was pretty inferior to that available in a Unix or Linux environment. So PowerShell was invented uh, to allow you to manage really all aspects of a PC or server. So it can manage registry settings as well as something called WMI, and that stands for Windows Management Instrumentation and instrumentation is a, a way to manage modules which allow you to control uh, elements of a Windows PC or Windows Server. It's based of commandlets, so they're not really called commands, they're called commandlets. So I'm going to draw a circle here of a commandlet and the output of a commandlet is actually some data which is an object and these outputs and inputs can be piped to another commandlet. Now this is similar to Unix. Unix always had a system of having a command and then using this symbol to pipe to another command. It's called piping. So the output of one command could be the input of another command. But this was limited to making uh, using text. Here we have much more complicated data which we can output and input to other commands. It's also really a very powerful scripting environment so if you need to control uh, a complicated process with a number of commands you this is a full scripting environment. So who would use it? Would basic users use it? Generally, if it's just a basic user and you're using basic things like IP config, uh, maybe you're using a ping command, the command line's fine, and you're not going to generally uh, really take advantage of PowerShell. But it's designed for people who administrate Windows PCs uh, and Windows Server, and it's really its own complete command environment. So we're going to look at some initial PowerShell commands and look at the PowerShell environment uh, and allow you to get a taste of what this is. So here we have a typical command box um, to get at PowerShell. There's a number of different ways you can bring up the PowerShell environment. You can search for it. If you just type power, you'll see Windows PowerShell will be one of the options here. So we're going to bring up PowerShell and show the environment. It very much looks like a DOS environment. And you can customize this, but one of the first things we're going to do is to bring a shortcut onto my desktop. So the Windows PowerShell, I can drag over, hold. Um, on my keyboard the option command down till I see the little arrow and I'm going to let go. So this is my PowerShell shortcut. Now I can change some of the environment uh, parameters by um, clicking on the upper left hand side and going to properties 
and things I can do I might want to change the font to 14 maybe the layout I don't want to be uh, window size a height of 50 maybe 20 uh, is fine let's see how large that is that's oh, pretty small so we're going to change this to about 80 by 40 mostly for the use of this demonstration here so you'll see the prompt and, and so on now we're going to look at some of the basic commands uh, things that we might do in a command box and let's look at how we would do it in PowerShell so one of the first things is a um, CD to change directory so I might want to change to um, the users directory and I would just type CD slash users here we use a commandlet like set location Now, to, a lot of people are familiar with the DOS environment, so there's also things called aliases. And I can actually use the cd command because cd is actually an alias to the set location. So how would I find out what cd, uh, what the actual command was? Let's perhaps, if I do a dir, oh, that's supported too, but dir is not a native commandlet. How would I know what is really the PowerShell command. Well, I can use a command called get alias dir. And we can see that the command here is called get child item. I'm just going to do a CLS that clears the screen. So get child item. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, no. Ah, get dash child item. And so you can see the types of errors that are uh, shown here when you mistype. Now one of the other things that you'll notice or that this environment has, and it's similar to a Linux and Unix, is it has tab completion. If I do get dash ch and if I now hit the tab key it has get child item. So if I know most of the command, I can hit the tab key to see if it can complete the command uh, as we go. Okay, one last thing we're going to do is look at how would we change this command prompt. Uh, and to pass in assignments, I uh, you'll notice that the little prompt here has PS for PowerShell and then your path. But I want you to put your actual initials to the left so I'll know that who it is is doing the PowerShell command. So we would do this using uh, a command called function prompt and then we have to put something between these curly braces. And so we're going to put a quote. Something will go between quotes here. And whatever's between the quotes will get shown as the prompt. So I'm going to put DC for my initials, a space. And then I'm going to get the location, which is like getting the path. And then I'm going to put a greater than sign here. Just back up and get rid of some spaces. And now for this session, it won't save it for all sessions. I have a prompt that shows uh, DC along with the path. So if I set location to um, C colon users, that's what the prompt looks like. So this was a quick little introduction to the PowerShell prompt. We're going to do more exercises with it. And uh, as you follow along with the uh, exercise, you um, should play around with some of these commands to get used to them.